Hi friends, Yari here with Third Eye Yari. If you felt like the first few weeks of 2023 have been less productive, energetic, and fulfilling than you'd imagine the start of a new year being, it's not just you. Given two retrogrades, Mars until January 12th and Mercury until January 18th, it's been harder than usual to create momentum and connect with others. While both planets will need a bit more time to ramp back up to full speed, and therefore it could take a bit more time for you to feel like you're back fully in the flow, the first new moon of the year presents a beautiful opportunity to gain clarity and set a future-minded intention. Falling on Saturday, January 21st, At 5.53 p.m. Eastern Time, in the fixed air sign Aquarius, ruled by Uranus, the planet of rebellion and innovation, this lunation sets the stage for you to move into a new direction or to not only start a new chapter, but to begin telling a different story. You may be inspired to embrace an unconventional approach, to connect with a group or a team who can support your efforts and to commit fully to a long-term game plan. The new moon in Aquarius could fuel an illuminating realization. New moons, which happens when the sun pairs up with the moon, always present a monthly opportunity to get clear on which new chapter you want to write over the course of the next two weeks up until the next full moon and the next six months when the corresponding full moon occurs. There a chance to key in on what you want to achieve in the days to come because January 2023's new moon falls in the already forward thinking sign Aquarius It's a particularly potent one for thinking well into the future. Aquarius is ruled by Uranus, the planet of sudden change and realizations, so prepare to break free of a particular path uh, that be a pattern, a relationship, or an unhealthy habit. Associated with the 11th house of networking and long-term wishes, Aquarius is especially comfy with collaboration, so you'll be compelled to think about how your connections, um, friendships, and relationships with colleagues and the community are supporting your greatest aspirations. The moon harmonizes with Jupiter, offering inspiration to dream bigger. The new moon falls at one degree of Aquarius, forming a sextile to Jupiter, the planet of fortune and expansion, in the cardinal uh, fire sign of Aries. Not only does this meet up spur wave of positivity, cheerfulness, and optimism, but it serves as an invitation to take the initiative, especially when it comes to connections. Depending on where this sextile hits on your natal chart, Something you can figure out by pinpointing where one degree Aquarius and four degrees Aries fall on it. You reach out to uh, someone with who you love to move forward with an ambitious project, for example. This can be an especially fruitful moment for reaching out to networking, contact proposing a first date, getting engaged, or joining forces with a friend um, to work on a vision board and brainstorming ways to further your dreams. And with Jupiter in Aries and the moon in Aquarius, thinking big picture and being open to out of the ordinary will serve you best now. Venus, the planet of relationship, money and beauty, will be about to pair up with Saturn, the planet of commitment. The new moon occurs a little more than 24 hours before Venus and Saturn meet up in Aquarius. Thought we tend to think of Saturn as rather dreary, dreary as the ruler of limitations and boundaries and rules and regulations is also the planet of hard work, 
and commitment. So when it gets together with Venus, which oversees love, you can combine romance with pragmatism and beauty with industriousness. This transit could spur you to commit to a long-term creative, creative project to define your relationship, to pledge to stick to a more self-loving wellness routine. And because it's happening in Aquarius, you can turn your unique vision into a reality in a distinctive way that feels above all as true to who you are. Here, how this Aquarius new moon will affect you based on your sign. Pro tip, be sure to read both your sun and your rising sign if you know it. If you don't, you can go to um, your natal chart. So Aries, with the new moon falling in your long-term wishes sector, connecting with lucky Jupiter in your sign, you may feel more intuitive than usual. Trust your gut to guide your game plan. Taurus, with the new moon in your career sector harmonizing with Jupiter in spirituality zone, you can more readily tap into your inner knowing when it comes to the best way forward on a professional project. Gemini, with the moon, with the new moon, is your adventurous zone Connecting to Jupiter in your networking sector, you could dive into an exciting opportunity for personal growth, particularly alongside friends or colleagues. Cancer. With the new moon falling into your intimacy zone, you're, you will embrace vulnerability even more than usual. It could de deepen your closest bonds. Leo. The new moon activates your partnership zone, fueling a thrilling new chapter alongside uh, an associate, a loved one, a dear friend. Thanks to Venus and Saturn there, too, this could truly be the start of a gratifying long-term adventure. There we go. With the new moon in your daily routine zone, you're prepared to get on top of your hustle and your well-being. You can come up with um, and commit to a new schedule that benefits your mind, body, and spirit, as well as the bottom line. Libra, this new moon highlights your self-expression and romance zone and syncs up with lucky Jupiter in your partnership sector. So magic is absolutely in the air. You could meet someone new or being a creatively fulfilling new chapter. Scorpio, with the new moon falling in your home zone, consider setting aside time to tend to your inner word, world and do deeply healing emotional work as it could lay the groundwork for more joy and security with loved ones. Sagittarius, this new moon falls in your communication zone, which causes your curiosity to soar and your calendar to be bursting with social commitments. Prioritize learning something new, especially alongside friends. Capricorn, with a new moon in your money zone, just ahead of Venus and Saturn connecting there, you may be ready to commit to a new forward for a new way forward for earning. Even if you're just in an exploratory phase, you'll feel a surge of industriousness and hope. Aquarius, falling in your sign, the new moon is your annual chance to get razor focus on an intention close to your heart. With its connection to Jupiter, you'll do well to blend your characteristic rational thinking with a dash of zealousness, which can really get you moving for, uh, toward your ideal end game. Pisces, 
with the new moon in your spirituality stone, your intuition is even sharper than usual, and your dreams may be super vivid. You can tap into this inner knowledge to dream up a new approach to money making. Have a wonderful lunation.